let's figure out where to where to go. I don't know where the Turkish air would be. I'm so like passive and I need to be more assertive when trying to find someone. This is this is something I gotta get over. The unfortunate thing is there are multiple parties involved with providing assistance at the airport, and you never have an accurate time frame of when you'll get help. This can cause a lot of anxiety, as I was waiting for nearly 30 minutes without a site guide showing up. Ultimately, I just had to say something, because my flight was not being delayed. However, it seemed like I was. To get to TSA, it's just uh, right up, if I remember correctly, to the right? Just correct, yes. Okay. Introducing Virtual Eye, an indoor navigation tool designed to help the visually impaired map the real world. Virtual Eye consists of an Android application that uses the phone's sensors to interact with Bluetooth low-energy beacons. Environment data is hence continuously captured and sent to a remote cloud server that uses multiple algorithms to localize and navigate the user in real time. There are three available modes that are currently offered by Virtual Eye. First is assisted navigation, which guides the visually impaired user from their current position to their desired destination. Next, we have free roam mode, which warns a visually impaired user of the obstacles in their path. And lastly, we have regular navigation, which is a vision-based navigation mode consisting of an interactable map with text-based directions, visually guiding the user in indoor settings. The assisted navigation mode enables visionless navigation by utilizing sensor and Bluetooth beacon data to provide constant feedback to the user. This feedback is in the form of phone vibrations and periodic audio cues. This is a demonstration of the assisted navigation mode. Here, the user can select the mode by simply shaking their phone. Using audio feedback, they are then given ample information about their surroundings and the available locations they may navigate to. The user can select their destination by simply shaking the phone again and speaking out the location's name. Based on the user's selection, an optimum route is calculated by the remote cloud server and communicated back to the phone. When the navigation begins, the application periodically provides directions in steps and vibrates as the user continues in the right path towards their destination. If the user is headed in the wrong direction, an audio alert is given and the phone stops vibrating as well. Next, Virtual Eye's free roam mode alerts the visually impaired users of the various obstacles in their path using real-time obstacle detection and audio feedback. In this demonstration, it can be seen that Virtual Eye is able to accurately determine the obstacles in the user's path in real time. Finally, regular navigation is vision-based indoor navigation that allows the user to select their locations. They are navigated with the aid of an on-screen map and compass with audio feedback. It can be seen in this demonstration that this mode allows the user to select their locations using drop-down menus. The selections are then sent to the cloud server for path calculation and the on-screen map is continuously updated with directions and audio cues on where the user has arrived. With Virtual Eye, navigating indoor settings becomes a seamless and safe experience for the visually impaired. Thank you for your time.